Today we are doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. We opened a box of Fist of the Gadgets um, a little bit ago and you know we didn't do very good. I felt very unsatisfied so I decided let's do another opening and it's like, alright well what do we do? Um, you know the new the gold tins came to mind but you know I wanted to have that potential pull something really good like a really expensive card. Um, thought maybe alright let's go for those prismatics but uh, we couldn't find any of those either, so what do we end up with? Boom! Savage Strike! This is probably the set that we've opened the most as far as Yu-Gi-Oh! goes. And there's some big hits in here. Uh, Phantasma, I think it's back up to $100 again. And by the way, we are pretty good at pulling Phantasma. Maybe that just jinxed us, but I think we pulled maybe like four of them. And this is first edition, which is nice. But uh, what else do we have? I think uh, Borload Savage Dragon, our boy right here, is still pretty good. Pot of Extravagance is super good. So we're going to be opening up the entire box looking for that $100 Yu-Gi-Oh card. You know, I feel like very few sets, especially as old as this one, uh, but still modern sets to have you know, a card or two that's just really worth like the box, the value of the booster box. I feel like that's very uncommon these days, which is why I really like this set. Just have so much potential. And without further ado, let's get into our first pack. We are no strangers to this set. Oh boy, although maybe we forgot to how we forgot how to open the packs though. Let's go. Incantation Inception, TG Tank Grub, Salmon Great Paro, Apple of Enlightenment for, for ooh, Secret right off the bat, Witcher Strike, a very cool card. Um, don't think it's that you know expensive or anything, but it sounds pretty insane. If your opponent negates the normal or special summon of a monster or the activation of a card effect, destroy all cards your opponent's controls and in their hand. <laughs> So it's like, hey, you do something to me, all right, I'll obliterate everything that you have. So, you know, I, I can't say I fully un or no, I don't understand the, the meta that well. There's just, it's super complicated in my opinion. But uh, that card just sounds <laughs> very, very strong. So let me, we have our Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. Which is strike. Very nice. So usually for these boxes, if you're not familiar, usually there's two secrets, one on each side. There have been occasions where we've been shafted one. I'm not sure if we've ever pulled three in a box. Sometimes there's two on one side and then none on the other. But uh, so it seems like it's kind of like a one way street as far as not being one. Rocket Synchron and Fateful Hour is our next pack. We got a Booster Raptor, Psychic Tracker, and Solomon Great Foxer. Just moving the cable out of the way. Yes, yeah, so there is like a one really good Ultra in that Borload Savage Dragon. Actually, I think um, World Legacy Guard Dragon is not bad as well. Shira Nui, Squire Saga, Cyber's Wicked, Dark Factory of More Production, Shira Nui Squire. Don't think uh, Shira Nui, actually this is a pretty good common. Time Thief, Fizzle Ship, and Update Jammer. Uh, Yuki does have like a new set that's just dropping. Can't remember what it's called, but uh, has the first five link that I watched a video of someone pulled it. Sounds pretty insane. Catch Eve L2, Time Thief Regulator, Summon Good Violet Chimera, that's a pretty good card too. And there it is, that Guard Dragon we're talking about. Pretty solid hit right there. We'll see this guy up in a second. Time Thief Redoer, another pretty good card. Subterrace of Session, Orcus Nightmare. So two uh, two hits that are not the jackpots, but solid, solid stuff. Although this is one of those lottery sets where it's kind of like lottery or bust. You know, home run or strike out. I don't know, I'm not much of a baseball person. Scorching Sunburner. Garmeads, Detonate Deleter, and then a Neos Fusion. Yeah, this set has a little bit of everything. A lot of cool, uh, cool mech stuff. You got some hero, elemental heroes, some Guard Dragon, 
Orcus stuff. Share Nui, but I don't think Share Nui. I don't know. Maybe Share Nui is, is a thing. I'm not aware of it. Alright, let's see. Prank Kid Roxy's Red Rising Dragon. That could, I do like that art. Solomon Great Paro. Summon Over. Trickstar Fusion. Spectral Shade. Sword Saga. Update Jammer. And Justica. Yeah, so we've been kind of slacking on the Yu-Gi-Oh! content lately, so if you do enjoy it, let me know by hitting the like button. Uh, that's an easy way for me to gauge the interest out there, and you know, if it gets enough likes, it's like, um, kind of like tells me, like, alright, we should do more of this. Guard Dragon and Drake, and Ag Agar Pain. Promonesis, not bad. Integrator, Solemnity, and Flyback. I feel like my mic is not in the right spot. All right, we have a Sunburner, Core Awakening, Time Thief Winder, Neo Space Connector, Apple of Enlightenment again, and the Sweet Guitar, Squirt Squid, Clay Breaker, and Update Jammer. I feel like there's uh, usually two Ultras on each side, I think. Maybe it's like three per box. All right, let's see, we got Swordmaster, Paro, Edge of the Ring, Speed Burst Dragon, that's a pretty cool art too. Elemental Hero, Cosmo Neos. Love Elemental Hero stuffs. De Justica again, and Foxer, Child's Play. Yeah, I think it was four that we've pulled Phantasmes on this channel, which is why this is definitely my favorite set. Incantation, Child Slime, not a bad card too. And Trickstar Devaridus. Squire Saga, another Cybers Integrator, and Shinobi Necro. Definitely Yu Gi Oh! of like the big three games, referring to what I'm referring to as Magic, Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon. This is definitely the one I'm the least familiar with as far as the meta. But ironically, it's the one I probably played the most. Lapis Dragon and Pisty. Just, you know, definitely growing up as a kid, this was the most fun TCG. I didn't get into magic, into magic until college. I only did that for a couple years and all my cards rotated out and I was heartbroken. <laughs> and Pokemon, I kind of only recently got into the competitive side. Other than that, I've just been a pure collector. Converter, World Legacy, World Arc, and a Fateful Hour. Got Foxer, Time Thief, Flyback, and Update Jammer. Okay, so for that first side, we got some like hits that were not duds, but again, it's that jackpot or bust. Although, I've, more often than not, that is like this, the case for these sets. Although, more often than not, it's like even if you do get it, it's still, you know, still, it's going to be tough to make up the value of the box. Chalice Slime, Neos Fusion. Wolvie, Squirt Squid, and a Sword Saga. The thing, as long as we can avoid, like, uh, it, it's very frustrating when you don't get that second secret. That is the worst. So as long as we avoid that, this will be an enjoyable opening. Ooh, Sunlight Great Sunlight Wolf. I think for a while, this card was like, what, eight, ten dollars Pretty crazy for a rare in Yu-Gi-Oh to be worth anything. We'll put this one off to the side. And then a Valkyrie Vierte. So as far as um, Yu-Gi-Oh sets go, I feel like I go back and forth. You know, comparing these kind of sets, the nine card sets, with that's always guaranteed at least a super rare, versus the, um, hey, you get four ultras and a secret. I feel like I go back and forth. As of right now, I think I would have to lean, ah, uh, TG. TG Star Guardian is our next Ultra. It's a bit of a disappointment. But I think I do like the 9 ones. The secret feels more worthwhile. Because like it actually feels like it's a different rarity. Compared to those other ones where, yeah, you get a secret per box. But there's only a handful of secrets that are actually like the good secrets. Although I guess that's always the case. But, you know, they don't fake this uh, rarity. Even though, like, no matter what, you'll still get, you know, that one or two hits 
per box. All right, so we got our second ultra. That was a bit of a letdown, but we still this second secret rare is still alive. Time thief hack. Summon over. Salmon Great Paro. Incantation Inception. Hita. Then next. Shinobi Necro, Justica, and Time Thief Bezel Ship. Alright, Time Thief Winder, Aloof Lupine, that's a pretty good card too. Cyburst Converter, Madolce Penning Connoisseur, Shade again. Wolvie, Orcus Nightmare, and Shuri Nui Style Success. All right, it's coming down to it. It's kind of one one funny thing about Yu opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Actually, I guess Pokemon's not that different. Like when it comes to the secret rare that you usually get at least one of per Yu-Gi-Oh box or no Pokemon box or like the secret rares for Yu-Gi-Oh is like, do you prefer to open up in the beginning? So like that guard, um, Witch's Strike where you get it on the first pack. It's like, oh, okay, we probably won't get anything for a little bit. Compared to like when it comes down to it, you know, you're just like, oh my gosh, don't don't tell me we got we got we got gypped on on the secret. So it's very uh, there's no <laughs> there's no happy medium on that. It's either too early or very suspenseful. I guess suspenseful is better, but it can be very uneasy feeling when you're just like, oh my gosh, don't tell me. Ooh, we're pulling a lot of these chalice slimes and LP. Some of the guard dragons are pretty good cards still. Six Samurai, Subterra Succession, and Wolvie. All right, three packs left, four packs left. Here we go. Ah, where are you? I want you. All right, Shuri Nui, Swordmaster, Squire Saga, Subterra Guru, Trickstar Fusion, Sherry Nui, another Sherry Nui Ultra, Bezel Ship, Sword Saga, and then, then a Nightmare. So that might be it for our Ultras. Yeah, three seems about right. Would be a it's I feel like it is doable to get four. I feel like we've gotten that before. All right, but we need that secret orchestrated release, Cybers Converter, World Legacy World Arc, Cosmo Neos. So what we're looking for is that effect monster in that uh, hollow slot. That's what we want. All right, if we see the if we see effect monster in that slot, we're actually gonna put it off to the side and open the next pack. Time thief pack. Clock lizard. Sword master. Squire saga. Fusion of fire. Oh oh oh! All right. Here we go. We're gonna put this over here. Alright, Lost Time, Time Thief Redoer, and Solemnity. We're going to go through this pack, and then we're going to slow roll. What I'm hoping is our secret. If this is a secret, like, oh. <laughs> it's probably like a, a spectral shade or something, <laughs> if the secret's right here. Garmeets, Time Thief Regulator, Catch Eve, Trickstar Fusion, Trident Launcher Secret Rare. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, so we did get a... Um, we did get our second secret, but it's not the one we're looking for. So we did not hit that jackpot. But uh, this set, you know, it's always fun just to try to go for those. TG Trident Launcher. I can't remember if this one's good. I don't think so. But all right, let's go back to I'm going to go with Spectral Shade. Boom. Ooh, Thunderclap Monk. Forgot about you. Now I don't want to see you again. All right, so not a very good opening. Still like, yeah, that Yu-Gi-Oh itch is sometimes hard to scratch. You know, and uh, yeah. Solomon Great <laughs> Sunlight Wolf. World Legacy Guard Dragon, not bad. TG Trident Launcher. And then Witch's Strike. It's a very cool card. Sounds insanely strong, but uh, that's it for this opening and like I said earlier if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh openings just let me know by hitting that like button and uh, yeah as always guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe all down below I'm Wanda Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.